So this is Jordan Wiggins. Oh. He is tactician for the current second place boat here at the Hop Car Regatta, and he's going to tell us why. <laughs> um, well, yesterday was huge about really just getting off the line and then picking when you switched over to the side of the course where you were getting the righty off of the, the Cooper River. Um, the breeze was really taking a bender around through the Cooper. Um, so it was, I mean, just being able to get out of the current first on the left and then cross over to the right in the right spot was huge. And then making sure that when you're going up current, you're, you're really or when you're going across the current, you're in a, you're in a lot of breeze instead of being a little bit less breeze because you're going to side slip a little bit faster. So just making sure that if you're picking your point, you want it to be at max pressure. So did you? So you played the left shore initially always? Um, I think just about probably the first third of every beat we were on the left side, and then we would kind of pick a puff to flop over and go yeah. back. And then it was a lot with fleet management. Like one time we knew we wanted to kind of hang a little bit left, but the entire fleet was headed right early. So we decided to kind of go with the fleet, um, which was, I think was beneficial for us. Did you, did you ever find yourself having to tack right at the weather mark because you didn't, the current pushed you down too far? Um, we never had to tack right at the mark, like a double tack maneuver, but we did have one situation where we, we tacked and we were going for two or three boat lengths just to hit back up on the ley line. Yeah. But we never had one of those close calls where you have so to... So it's like the Cooper River just wraps around Daniel's it, Island, right? It, it does. And if you're actually, if you, what ends up happening is if you come up and you tack too late and you're, you're on the left side really, really late and then you go right, you're actually taking current into the face think of that. instead of just straight sideways. So right. you're, you're, you're just getting current on the nose the entire time. Good point. How about downwind over oh, strategy? Um, downwind, what we would really do is just coming around the mark where we're staring up into that Cooper River side, seeing if there's any pressure coming out of the Cooper. And then if there's a nice puff coming out, we were like, we want an early jive to get into that breeze first and take it down to the mark. Um, but it was key to not have to jive three or four times getting in there just because it was such close quarters with how current or how strong the current was. Yeah, I found that lured mark really came up fast. It does. <laughs> it, it doesn't look like it's going to, but especially if you're deep, don't be afraid to get that jib up and you know, really just kind of take your time with it, but at the same time, like, it's going to get there quick, so. Okay, well, thank you. Good yeah, luck. Absolutely, thank you.